The so-called godfather of artificial intelligence has quit his post at Google, saying some of the potential dangers of chatbots are quite scary. Well, Jeffrey Hinton says it was simply time to retire. He's gone out with a bang, joining a growing number of experts voicing concern about AI. Nick Truebridge reports. Not long ago, it seemed like a figment of our imagination. Man-made machines with a mind of their own. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. It might not be this bad, but this insider dubbed the godfather of AI predicts trouble of a different kind. It'll allow authoritarian leaders to um, manipulate their electorates, things like that. His name is Jeffrey Hinton, a pioneer of artificial intelligence who's quit his job at Google and is speaking out. There's another particular thing I want to talk about, which is the existential risk of what happens when these things get more intelligent than us. Hinton says the company OpenAI's latest software, ChatGPT4, eclipses humans' general knowledge by a long way. So, should we be worried? You should be concerned about what AI is right now and... As we have these powerful tools, they're going to get better. That means the good they can do is going to grow and the harm they can do is going to grow as well. So it's natural to be concerned about any powerful tool that's developing as fast as AI is. Because the truth is, AI is already better than you and I at a lot of things and the experts say that list will inevitably expand. Does that mean that in the near future there's going to be an AI that's as good or better at all or even most of the things that humans do? No. Uh, and I don't think he's really saying that, and it doesn't need to do that in order to be a big deal. Those worries are already here, with two students from Cambridge and Pukekohe High Schools recently speaking out after being accused of alleged cheating using chat GPT. Our universities are prepping too. Auckland University has formulated guidelines for teachers to use when deciding whether their students can use AI for a course. The guidelines aim to provide clarity and direction for teachers considering incorporating AI tools into their curriculum. And a disclaimer, the last section of the story wasn't my writing. It was better. Thanks, ChatGPT. Nick Trubridge, News Hub.